Hello my crafting friends. I'm coming today with a quick challenge video and um, I don't know if you are a subscriber of Cassie Keith, but I am a subscriber of her. She's a wonderful uh, mixed media artist. She does a lot of canvases and lots of mixed media and she has a thousand subbies so that's a great accomplishment and she has wonderful videos and tutorials and she does lots of mini albums and so if you're interested, go check out her channel. And so for her thousand subbies, she's having a challenge giveaway. And her challenge giveaway is Xmas Christmas in July. And there's lots of different things you can make. You can make an altered item. You could make a banner. Um, I'll try and link her video below to where you can find out all the details. You can do um, tags, and they have to be like a three point three by five or smaller because she's wanting to make like for Christmas time do like a decoration of a little tiny tree and hang tags off of it. So that's what I chose to do and it's due to her by August 19th. So I'm going um, to be sending these out to you Cassie. I do already have your address from completing other challenges of yours. So I made you four tags and this is the first tag and this is um, one that I cut out with my exacto um, template. I cut it out of chipboard and then covered it with the I believe it's the Prima Moulin Rouge um, that I got from Laura Loves Lace in a rack papers and I just thought these blue and you know this deep burgundy kind of were you know great winter time um, colors and then I used some applique here that I had gotten from uh, I believe it was Rosella Zingerly, and I just thought it was kind of pretty, like maybe like snow looking in the background. And I used this tinsel ribbon that I won from Bethany, BA Crafty Girl. And this is a La La Land Marcy, it's wintertime Marcy. And I paper pieced her hat and her coat here with some of the paper from the Prima Moulin Rouge collection and then I just added a little um, border of that same paper on the back so that's the first little tag and then this tag is one I can't remember who I got it from I'm sorry to say I got it in a rack and it was like the white basil um, chipboard tags and I just took my Making Memory scrapbooking paint in red and painted the whole tag. And then I took a Stamps of Life older stamp set and stamped it in the Stays on Ink this little holly. And then I painted the holly, the green you see is a distress paint from Tim Holtz. And then I took my um, stencils with the star and I used um, my modeling paste just to kind of give it some dimension and then I stamped out the happy holidays from another stamps of life stamp set in black ink on white paper and then cut it out and then inked it with my red memento ink and then I just used some of this ribbon that I had in my stash so that's one of the other tags and then this tag is um, a bunch of tags that I got I believe it's from American Crafts and it was from Enchanted Steph and so I put a couple these are like American Crafts little tags so if she wants she could even add it into a mini album if she wants or she can hang it on her tree or do whatever and I use the chalk uh, memento dewdrop ink to color the tag in the background and then this little penguin is a Stamps of Life stamp that I stamped out and colored his little package and his beak with a um, Copix. And then I used stickles on the bow and then I stamped the little Santa hat out and colored that with my Copics and then I used some liquid pearls just to kind of give it some puffy um, dimension for his little hat and then this is some ribbon from my stash and then the last tag um, I used also a Stamps of Life stamp set colored in the wreath with my Copics and used some stickles and it says from our home to yours and that's also a Stamps of Life um, older stamp set and then I used some more of that glitter tinsel ribbon that I got in a rack from Bethany, BA Crafty Girl, here on YouTube. 
So I hope you enjoy um, the tags that I created for you, Cassie. And like I say, I'm going to try and get these out toward the end of the week or um, maybe the first part of next week. And I have your address, so I will be sending those out to you. And go check out Cassie's channel and participate in her Christmas in July challenge for her 1,000 subbies. And congrats again, Cassie, on all of your subbies. And thank you, ladies, for watching, and have a nice day.